The evolution of COVID-19 symptoms, how each new variant tells a different story. As COVID-19 continues to weave its path through global populations, each new variant brings with it a unique set of symptoms and challenges. From the initial bewildering presentation of COVID-2 to the current wave of infections caused by the KP2 variant, the nature of the disease has evolved significantly. Understanding these changes is crucial in our ongoing battle against the virus. At the early days, unusual and bizarre symptoms. In the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic, the world was introduced to a strange array of symptoms that seemed unrelated to a respiratory virus. Alongside the common signs like fever and cough, patients reported losing their sense of smell and taste, experiencing severe fatigue and suffering from COVID toe, painful itchy lesions on their feet and hands. Hat, the mystery of COVID toe. COVID toe baffled scientists and doctors alike. This condition resembling chillblains left many wondering how a respiratory virus could cause such symptoms. Initial hypotheses suggested an excessive immune response might be to blame, but the exact mechanism remained elusive. Interestingly, as the virus mutated, reports of COVID toe decreased, hinting at the virus's evolving nature and its impact on the body. Tau, the rise of Omicron, a shift in symptomatology. As the pandemic progressed, the emergence of the Omicron variant marked a significant shift in the symptom profile of COVID-19. With Omicron and its subvariants like JN1 and KP2, the disease began to manifest more like a typical flu making it increasingly difficult to distinguish from influenza without specific tests. And the dominance of JN1. The JN1 variant, a subvariant of Omicron, brought new challenges. Patients frequently reported symptoms such as headaches and gastrointestinal issues, including diarrhea. The loss of smell and taste, once a hallmark of COVID-19, became less common. This shift suggested a change in the virus's ability to infect different cells, driven by mutations in the spike protein that allowed it to evade the immune system more effectively. The emergence of KP2, a new player on the field. By early 2024, the KP2 subvariant started to dominate. Characterized by distinctive mutations in its spike protein, KP2 was dubbed FLIRT due to specific amino acid changes. Although it had a higher reproductive number, making it more transmissible, it was found to be up to 10 times less infectious than JN1. Scheiss, the impact on healthcare systems. Despite the higher transmission rates, the impact on healthcare systems was less severe compared to earlier waves. Hospitalizations and deaths from COVID-19 were markedly lower, attributed to a combination of widespread immunity from previous infections and vaccinations. However, distinguishing COVID-19 from other respiratory illnesses like influenza became a significant challenge for primary care physicians. Sat the role of immunity, vaccination, and prior infections. The interplay between immunity from vaccinations and prior infections has played a crucial role in shaping the current landscape of COVID-19 symptoms. As people have become more exposed to the virus, either through infection or vaccination, their immune systems have become more adept at handling it. Such waning immunity and vaccine boosters. However, immunity wanes over time. Epidemiologists like Dennis Nash emphasize that those who remain unvaccinated or undervaccinated, particularly those experiencing COVID-19 for the first time, are at greater risk of severe and prolonged symptoms. This highlights the ongoing importance of staying up to date with vaccine boosters to maintain protection against severe disease. Ah, the future. Long COVID and ongoing challenges. One of the enduring concerns is the long-term impact of COVID-19, particularly the risk of long COVID. Emerging evidence suggests that microclots formed as a result of the virus could be linked to the persistent symptoms experienced by long COVID patients. Researchers are now investigating whether these complications vary between different variants or if they are influenced more by the waning immunity from previous vaccinations. And the significance of microvascular complications. Microvascular complications such as those affecting the kidneys have been observed with the new JN1 variant. These observations raise concerns about the potential for increased chronic cases in the future. As the virus continues to mutate, the medical community must remain vigilant in monitoring these developments. Ash, conclusion, adapting to a changing virus. The evolution of COVID-19 symptoms with each new variant underscores the virus's adaptability and the complexities of our immune response. While some symptoms have become less common, new challenges have emerged. 
Staying informed about these changes is crucial for both healthcare providers and the general public. As we move forward, the importance of vaccinations and booster shots cannot be overstated. They remain our best defense against severe disease and the complications associated with long COVID. The journey with COVID-19 is far from over, and understanding its evolving nature will be key to navigating the future. The story of COVID-19 is one of constant change, requiring adaptability and resilience from us all. By staying informed and vigilant, we can continue to protect ourselves and our communities from this ever-evolving virus. Hi, thanks for watching until next time.